Hello guys, this video I'm going to show you how to set up multi currency web store. We need this plugin, multi currency plugin. This one is a well known plugin, a five star plugin. You see, uh, already uh, sold almost uh, 4,000 copy. After you activate this this plugin, uh, all you need to do is you go to the system status, you check on this uh, section. This section has some parameter. Then this is the minimum requirement. Uh, you need to focus on the PHP time limit, the PHP maximum input value, and the memory limit. If you do not pass any uh, of these uh, minimum requirement, uh, actually I have a video, my previous video, I, I share some tricks to hijack the HD access to push the resources to the max allowed by your host. I will put the video link in the video description if you want to have a look. After you check, you need to go to the multi currency tab and then you need to enable it. This one by default is uh, disabled. And then here have a few things that I would like to highlight is uh, this one. Is this one is the fixed price if you enable it. So that means that if you uh, let me add one currency for you to have a look. Let's say Ringgit Malaysia. Okay, Ringgit Malaysia. So if you tick this one fixed price, so that means that here you can uh, change. Uh, you can fix your own exchange uh, rate plus some fees. Okay, right now, USD M Ringgit Malaysia is MYR, so MYR is 4.37. This one, so if you choose fixed price, yeah, you have to put your own rate manual. So I click save button, I click the update rate. You see the update rate 4.372. I'm not using the manual fixed rate. The update rate they are using an API is quite accurate actually. So I click save again. So so let's proceed with the second option that I like the most. This one the auto detect by default is no. Uh, auto select currency by country. So that means that if uh, I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia is uh, ring uh, Malaysia. Sorry, my country. And then I'm from Malaysia. Uh, the system will display auto display MYR for me. So you can add another one for Singapore and another one for UK. Uh, it's up to you. So I click save. And then pay to my many currency this one have to be on and then this one if you have to be on also so right now the checkout currency this one uh, is yes so uh, one thing I would like to highlight is uh, this plugin have uh, an advanced function right right now for example right now the uh, payment method that I accept is only PayPal. Maybe in your case, y you will accept other payment method like uh, online transfer or maybe scale. And then you can choose something from here. You know, If you here, your payment method already have maybe let's say three. Here, the drop down, you will have three. You know, So let's say uh, if people want to check out in USD, I allow them to use PayPal. If they want to check out in Ringgit Malaysia, I want to allow them to use Maybank to you uh, or maybe other payment gateway in Malaysia such as Hong Leong Bank. I can choose from here. And then you can also choose your design from here, the title, select your currency later, you will see that. Okay, let's say I preview for you to have a look. Here you see the select your currency this one so you can choose your own text and then right now I'm uh, choosing left right hand side right hand side this one from my humble opinion I will choose right hand side because um, most uh, ma a majority of the people in the world they are using their right hand so if you put on the right hand side they, they more convenient for them 
from my personal point of view. So you also can choose your color. You see all the color right now is uh, this one is pink. Let's say if I want to change it to 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 blue, okay. So this one you can just uh, play around with uh, the function here. I already update you see blue so the last one is uh the price format uh the default one will do very well so basically okay let me preview it for you right now all the item is still in usd right now i choose ringgit malaysia already update you see this one already update let's say the category page also already update the category page okay let's preview the product page the product page also already update so let's add something to chart because I want to show you the chart page okay the chart page right now the chart page this is the chart page and here is the checkout page the checkout page already switched to Ringgit Malaysia too. Thank you.